Bro, she wearing, man. Um, you look in shape, bro. You can tell even th with the sweater and everything on. Um, like you said, you're hungry, man. It shows, you know, the way you're talking, the way you're carrying yourself. It seems like you're very focused. Um, just tell us about how you're going to approach this fight, man, and uh, your return fight during the pandemic. Uh, I'm going to approach this fight. I'm going to give him 10 seconds to show me something. And I think I'm going to try to, you know, take advantage of what, what's in front of me, you know. I ain't going to never doubt no fighter. I ain't never doubt him. But I just look at our talent, and he is going to match up with mine. Because I've been in there with great fighters. I've seen him fight previous times. He got stopped before. I ain't never got stopped. And I go to war with whoever, from first to 12. Like, so, like I said, I hope you're ready because I'm coming, I'm coming with it all. And I'm ready to go to war. I'm, I got something to prove right now. 34. Uh, I'm just trying to get back in the loop now. You know, I'm trying to just keep get get the fights going. I ain't gonna say I'm ready for the like. I'm ready to fight, fight, who, who, who. Like I say, whoever they put in front of me, I'ma handle it. And then what come next? I'ma take it. How'd you maintain during the pandemic, man? Like, what did you do? How, how did you keep yourself active? Uh. I was, you know, I was staying above water, you know, trying to train here and there, trying to hope for a fight, going to the gym, sparring the kids, just trying to stay active, just trying to stay, you know, ready because I really thought it was going to be some I am a legend type stuff going on out here. You know, I thought it was going to just, everybody going to turn into zombies at the time. So, uh, like I said, I'm just, you know, using what I what I know as far as my experience, training, and just hanging in there because it wasn't the end for me. I know you said you, you want the winner in the main event. Who do you think is going to pull that off? I'm going to rig it out, man. I'm going to rig it out. Like, I mean, talent himself speaks, you know. You got to respect the, a, a fighter who done been in there with, you know, almost everybody, from amateurs to the professionals. And like I say, I'm going to rig on this. Like, I, 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 I respect Concert Mark. I, I respect who he fighting. I can't even pronounce his name right. I respect, who he, yeah, I, I respect what he, you know, how he feels coming in the ring. Far as San Diego do, but knockout. It's tough. <laughs> What'd you make of their exchange, man? It was fiery. Does that it, motivate it, it, you? It like, got me hyped. Yeah. It got me hyped. I'm like, hey, hold on. Like, the, you know the part, what? I'm about to tell you the part they had me hyped when he called him a clown. You know, a clown, you know, that's kind of disrespectful. Calling somebody a clown, you know, so. Where I'm from, I would have took it somewhere else with it. But that got me excited. I'm like, you know what? I ain't the only one gonna be making fireworks here. But I know I'm the first TV fight, so I gotta start the show. Yeah, I know you're focused on the Tasik Hammond, but there's another Filipino versus Cuban fight on August 21st. It looks like that could possibly turn into a rubber now between countries. What do you make of Manny Pacquiao and his late substitution? Uh, who goes with Earl Spence pulling out? What do you think is gonna happen? Uh, man, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go with Pacquiao. I want my Earl, my boy Earl, my former Olympian, you know, to take this. I mean, I pray that he, you know, get his eye back. I hope he recover real well, get back in the ring real soon. Uh, that's gonna be a great fight, though, because I also went to the Olympics with, uh, what's his name? The Cuban? Lucas. Yeah, I went to the Olympics with him before. Uh, sent him around, been around. He's a great fighter. He's a tough fighter. Uh, he's gonna bring it. It's gonna be, it ain't, it ain't gonna be a light fight now. Like, I hope people know if they tuned in, it ain't gonna be on a light fight, because uh, he, he gonna get, he, he, gonna, he might give me some problems. You know? yeah. I mean, I think Manny Pacquiao gonna figure him out, but it's different when, you know, you gotta change the fight up almost a week before. Yeah, like you said, you're 34, man, so moving on forward, you want the big fights. What did you make of Errol Spence's um, situation now, man? He, it looks like he got surgery yesterday. Yeah. It's very unfortunate, man. He's very good for the sport. He has a lot of potential. Yeah. How do you feel about Spence knowing him to some extent, you know? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm like, when I heard about it, you know, it, it touched my heart because, you know, that was one of his big, that would be the biggest fight of his life, and, you know. And, uh, I'm hoping that he recover back, he recover from it, come right back into it. And, um, like I say, Earl, if you listening, man, my dog, I'm praying for you. You feel me? You know, I, I'm behind you 100%, even when he ain't talking every day. Still my dog, you know. Get back home, recover from this situation, and bounce our way back. Hey, and if you watching, and if this make it before Saturday, tune in, because I'm going to do my thing, too. <laughs> All right, appreciate you, Ashim, man. Good right, looking out. Thank you. you. Good stuff, bro. Thank you.